Okay, now that you signed up, you're ready to set up your first snipe. So for your first snipe, you'll have to click on the search tab. After your first one, you can just enter the item number in that field that was shown. But for the first one, we'll have to enter a search. Let's see. It's something you want to find on eBay. Okay, now if you want, you can narrow it down by the category. I'll just leave it as is. Or you can narrow it, narrow it down by the minimum or maximum price or number of bids that the item has. Just those with those with within those parameters will show up in the results. Okay, I'll just leave all that as is for this search. Just click on the search button. And not the search tab. You click on the search button to do the search. That's, that's a little confusing too. Uh, we had a design different and we changed it to this. We'll probably change it back. That can be a little confusing. Anyway, here are some of the results from eBay. Okay, let's see. Say this looks promising. Just click on the view button. You'll be taken to eBay. Well, it has a buy it now for twenty dollars, which I could save maybe a dollar or two if I if I uh, set up a schedule to snipe or schedule to bid snipe. Same thing. Now, hit bid won't work with buy it nows. You could set schedule a snipe, you know, for less than twenty dollars, and it would snipe it. But for buy it nows, it, it doesn't make any sense anyway to set up a snipe when it's just a strictly a buy it now, when the opening price is the buy it now price. It just make more sense just to click the buy it now button, get it, you know, right away. Anyway, okay, I'll look for another item. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's say I check the item out, the description, and it's exactly what I'm looking for. Seller's feedback's good. Shipping price is reasonable. Let's say I wanted it. Okay, let's see, here we are. So we just click on the Snipe It button. And you'll be taken to this screen. Okay, this is where you enter your maximum bid that you want to bid on on the item. It won't necessarily be bid up to your maximum bid, but you still, you know, enter the the most you want to pay for the item. Let's say Okay. And here you can set how many seconds before the end of the auction you want your snipe to be executed or your bid to be placed. Same thing. We recommend five seconds. Five seconds is ideal. We figure that that doesn't give a manual sniper that's just bidding in real small increments just trying to get it you know as cheaply as possible that, that won't give them enough time to get another bid in but also hopefully if there's anyone else that has scheduled a snipe for that item you will be bef your bid will be placed before theirs so that if if your bids are very very close to the same amount your bid will be in first and their bid won't be high enough to meet the bid increment to to go over top of your bid. I hope that makes sense. You want to be the first bid in if if your bids are very similar. You want to be the first in. You can check out eBay about the bid increments and also you know, I'm not real technical. I can't explain a whole lot of this, but you can you can look on our FAQ page. There's links that will take you to the different eBay International sites to explain the bid increment process and what the increments are. Okay. And now right here, you have to enter your eBay login information. Again, like I said, I, I can't explain all the technical stuff. You can look on our FAQ page as f to see you know what we do to protect your information um, I know you know our site uses SSL throughout the site you can see that little S that'll tell you that it's secure and you can also see this little padlock and also if you're using um, Mozilla Firefox you'll see the address bar here it'll be all yellow and you'll see the little padlock over here um, you know if, if there was another way we could do it without getting your 
your login information we would but that, that's the only way we can do it because essentially we just log in to eBay to place your bid just as if you were doing it yourself um, you know that's like the ultimate sin or the cardinal sin giving out your login information eBay login information um, but as I said that's that's really the only way we can do it okay let's see I'll get a little head start on this okay and I believe I already no shoot what is it okay and now to make sure you entered your information incorrectly just click the check at eBay button hopefully I did okay now if you didn't you'd get an error would pop up and you would have to re-enter it in order to set the snipe up okay when everything's good you're sure about your price and you know you set that to where you want it just click on the snipe it button okay now disregard all these here I previously made this video and I'm trying to improve it a little bit so I'd already set those up anyway here is the the bid you just scheduled right here it shows you the well you can see up here status my bid current when the auction ends you know the auction name so here's my maximum bid here's the current price now this little hourglass here that that's telling you you know it's waiting um, here's when the auction ends and that's how you set up a snipe now after your first one okay let me see if I you can enter in oh let's see let me find something real quick okay let's see if we got something here it's not a buy it now nope um okay you can do a search this may be how you how you'll do it more often I don't know but okay let's find something with more than a minute left okay say you found something here on eBay you like you want to set schedule a snipe for all you would do is copy the item number go back to your member page here on Hidbid paste it in here now you leave this blank and unless it's an, a Dutch auction you just leave it at the default one you can enter the quantity if it's a Dutch auction you know a Dutch auction has multiple items multiple items the same more than one of the same item can't explain that very well but okay but you just you just leave that as as is unless like I said it's a Dutch auction and you want more than more than one then just click the snipe it button now you'll be taken back to the page you were before to uh, finalize your snipe and you just enter the same information S set the amount of seconds you want left in it click the snipe well let's see what's my minimum okay the snipe and there it shows up let's see which one is it this one current price my max price okay okay and that's how you set up a snipe